Port Phillip Bay is enormous. It covers nearly 2,000 square kilometres and has Victoria's two largest cities, Melbourne and Geelong, situated on its banks. Although very large, Port Phillip Bay is shallow with the deepest sections only 24 metres. This creates challenges for shipping and with nearly 4,500 ship movements per year, safe navigation through this shallow bay is critical for both environmental and commercial reasons. With some ships costing over $130,000 a day to lease, nobody wants unnecessary delays. The Victorian Regional Channels Authority, VRCA, is responsible for ships whilst in Corio Bay and navigating the channel, whereas Port of Melbourne and Victorian Ports Corporations are responsible for Port of Melbourne. These bodies operate around the clock, maintaining their asset bases, ensuring their customers benefit from safe and efficient ship navigation, plus security and emergency management. The entrance of Port Phillip Bay is recognised as one of the most hazardous port entrances in the world. The biggest challenge is that water does not run straight in and out of the entrance to the bay. Here, ships can encounter enormous turbulence and at times even have the tide pushing the bow one way and the stern another. All ships have to go through the heads to get to Port Phillip Bay. Entering the bay is challenging and risky work so ships are met at sea by a marine pilot who acts as a risk manager with expert local knowledge of the channels and nature of tides. Pilots are taken out to the ships by boat and are required to climb on board to reach the bridge and assist the captain and crew. Once on board, the pilot works in an advisory role with the master of the ship to assist with the safe navigation through the heads and down the channel. Along with pilots, navigational aids are critical to ensuring the safe passage of ships through Port Phillip Bay. Some channels in the bay are only 120 metres wide and can often carry ships that are up to 50 metres wide and over 240 metres long. The shipping channels in Port Phillip Bay are marked with sea light GPS enabled beacons. Aids to navigation that comprise the port entry solutions utilised by Port of Melbourne include SL96 leading lights, range lights and port entry lights. The sea light range of LED port entry lights and leading lights are typically installed to indicate a clear line of passage. Mariners use port entry and leading lights to easily distinguish shipping channel entrances, safe passage through hazardous waters and shoulder leads to assist with large vessel docking. Sea Light appreciates the assistance of Port of Melbourne Corporation, Victorian Ports Corporation and Victorian Regional Channels Authority in producing this video and supporting the Global Marine Industry Conference.